This is Local 6 Today. Good morning and thank you for joining us on this Saturday morning. I'm Elizabeth O'Neill. There's one thing you don't want to forget when you're going fishing and it's not the bait. Now parents have the opportunity to protect their teens from texting when they get behind the wheel. Smokey the Bear reminds many of us that fires can be destructive and harmful, but today we learn that a control burn can be helpful to the ecosystem. This little bundle of joy is Addison. From the outside, she looks like a normal three-year-old girl, but Addison has several heart defects. She has one valve where she should have two. The left side of her heart is way too small and then she has several holes in the wall of her heart. But that doesn't stop Addison from dreaming. She loves the princesses, loves to dress up like a princess, handy manny. She's all about all the Disney stuff. You get to meet the princesses? Yeah. <laughs> With the help of the Dream Factory, Addison's wish will now come true. And today, it's all about the buzz. The Paducah Fire Department, Mercy Regional EMS, and Paducah Police represented the red, white, and blue, and all raised money to benefit kids like Addison. And in the end, shaved their heads for a good cause. We really care about the community, of course, and uh, we just, what better cause is there, you know, to help children out. The money raised today gives Addison and her parents the chance to go to Disney and have breakfast with Addison's favorite princess, Cinderella. Are you going to give him a big hug? Yeah. Not only is Addison's dream coming true, it's also a blessing for her parents. We just never expected anything like this, really. We didn't, of course, we didn't know when she was born that there was anything wrong, and we've just been through so much the past three years that something like this for her is just wonderful. I probably wouldn't do it, you know, just be doing it, but for the cause, most definitely, it's a good feeling. In Paducah, Elizabeth O'Neill, WPSD, Local 6. On impact. The Grim Reaper tragically touched teenage lives at Lone Oak High School. Once touched, these kids mournfully marched through the gym where they were laid to rest. Cameron Stewart, a 17-year-old junior at Lone Oak High School, was killed last night. Cameron Stewart did not escape the Reaper's reach today, but last year he did. Back in uh, December, me and my buddies had a car wreck. And there was five of us in there, and we were all lucky and walked away died last night. Cameron was one of 15 students chosen to play the part of a victim of drunk driving. And for him, this is real. But when I come to, everybody else was passed out. And they, all the boys was laying on me. That was the scariest like, feeling I've ever had in my life. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports that 35% of teen deaths are caused by motor vehicles. But those deaths are not caused by drunk driving alone. 6,000 deaths and half a million injuries are caused by distracted driving. We're hoping that if they uh, you know, make the right choice and not drinking and driving or not picking up that phone and texting or checking a text message that uh, hopefully we make a difference. Hauser wants to battle cell phone technology because texting while driving has become 40% more dangerous than drunk driving. Now parents have the opportunity to protect their teens from texting when they get behind the wheel. There are new phone applications that can block texting, emails, and phone calls while driving. New applications, Eyes Up, Text Blocker, and Cell Safety are just a couple of the applications to help parents protect their kids on the road. These apps use a phone's GPS system to detect when a car is moving. Then it blocks incoming calls or texts. The first time I've been here. Scouts like Kobe are grateful to be a part of Scouts of America and proud to show it off. Arrowheads. They're, every time you go to a ceremony thing, you get some. If you've been good and you've worked hard. Everywhere you look, these scouts are practicing their team's skills. I shoot the BB gun. We raced the regatta, and I didn't run out of rocket ship. The group leader says the simple outdoor activities can mean a lot. <laughs> we also have a lot, we teach pioneering, and the reason why we teach pioneering, it's a lost art where you actually build something out of using rope, is that it gives the, the teenagers an opportunity to do something by teamwork, and that's why we have rope bridges. And these scouts make it look simple. Here today, there are many activities to learn the best scouting skills and this rope bridge oh! <laughs> is just one of them they had the opportunity to walk across the rope bridge learn outdoor cooking play frisbee golf shoot a bb gun 
learn the art to archery, tent pitching contests, and many more. A long day of working together and making new friends. How many friends have you met? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Scouting is definitely year-round, and it's designed, if you're ready for the elements, you can do all our programs year-round. Trey Smith says scouting means less time in front of the television and more time with family. Lessons that these young Cub and Boy Scouts will never forget. By bringing back kids to the outdoors from, from age 7 all the way up to the time they get age 20, we hope that we are teaching them lifelong skills. In Paducah, Elizabeth O'Neill, WPSD Local 6. The Paducah police can walk the streets a little safer now. Governor Steve Beshear announced Friday that the department has been awarded over $14,000 for body armor. The award comes from the State Law Enforcement Protection Program, or LEP. LEP provides funds for defensive items like the armor. Officials from the organization say police officers often go without basic equipment, and the grant is the way to fill that gap. And if you're a fan of truth, justice, and the American way, you want to make your way over to Metropolis today. The downtown area of the home of Superman will be packed with people from the 32nd annual Superman celebration. The biggest week of the year has thousands of visitors from around the world stopping in for a peek at the Man of Steel. This year's events including the unveiling of the Noel Neal statue, a powerlifting contest, car show, and plenty of caped crusaders. And you can even run into one of the many celebrities that come to Metropolis for the celebration. To check out the full schedule of events for the Superman celebration, head to our web channel. That's WPSDLocal6.com. And we'll be right back after this break.